Welcome to the sixth video in final accounts adjustment series. It's a comprehensive problem on provision. Here the focus will be on provision for bad and doubtful debts, discount on debtors, will be opening respective ledgers, will be preparing P&L and balance sheet as well. Let's get started. The following particulars are extracted from the books of Mr. Vijay. Jan 1, it's basically the opening balances. Provision for bad and doubtful debts 12,000. Provision for discount on debtors 5,600. Then December 31, you are given this information. Discounts allowed during the year 9,300. Bad debts written off during the year 4,700. Bad debts recovered during the year 250. Debtors position. Closing debtors position is so much. Then write off further 2400, definitely bad. Provision for discount allowed at 2% and for doubtful debts at 10% are to be maintained. Show how the relevant items would appear in ledger, P&L and balance sheet as at 31st December 21. Okay, so you are given opening provision 12,000. You are told what is the bad debts during the year. Bad debts during the year is 4,700, opening is 12,000. So this bad debts, instead of taking it to P&L, we can simply adjust again provision for bad and doubtful debts. And they've also given that some bad debts are recovered during the year. That effect will give in P&L credit side. Then what will be the additional bad debts? That is also given. Okay, so when you open the bad debts account, you will have bad debts already provided 4700 plus bad debts the additional element okay and these two you have to see whether it can be absorbed in provision for bad and doubtful debts answer is yes it can be absorbed because it is 12000 here even if you add these two, uh, two it's only like uh, 7100 okay that's possible then how will you arrive at provision for bad and doubtful debts closing balance and provision for discount on debtors closing balance. It is given that provision for discount on debtors will be at 2% and doubtful debts will be at 10%. This provision for discount on debtors will be calculated only on good debtors. It means from debtors we have to deduct bad debts, we have to deduct provision for bad and doubtful debts, then whatever is left over only on that this 2% provision for discount on debtors can be calculated. And only then you will know how much should be taken to PNL because you have opening balance. Using this information, you can arrive at the closing balance. And here you are given what is the discount allowed during the year. If opening balance is 5600, how can you provide for discount allowed 9300? It is not possible unless and until you make a fresh charge in PNL in the name of provision for discount on debtors. Okay, so those kind of things are going to follow. Let's get started. Let's get started. So, what we'll do is we'll open a respective ledgers, then we'll attack one by one. To start with, we have the first item that is provision for bad and doubtful debts account. Okay, so let's have the ledger one. Provision for bad and doubtful debts account. What is the opening balance on 1121 by balance brought down? It is 12,000. Then let us also open this provision for discount on debtors. Its opening balance is 5,600. So on 1121 buy balance brought down 5600 then you are given that discount allowed during the year so this is basically discount expense right discount allowed during the year where you can take this two options one you can take it to pnl the other one you can take it to provision for discount on debtors and already you are given provision for discount on debtors right so this 9300 will take it to this account 31 12 21 to discount on debtors account 
how much 9300 okay we'll give life for all the entries then we'll come back okay then we are given bad debts written off during the year is 4700 this bad debts we can adjust in provision for bad and doubtful debts account okay on 31 12 21 two bad debts see in this problem we are not going to pass adjustment entries only ledger then directly p and l and balance sheet okay so two bad debts how much it is 4700 then you have this bad debts recovered account so what we'll do now we'll open bad debts account let us also open bad debts recovered account okay so here we'll have bad debts account bad debts account when you start itself you are going to have this opening balance okay how much 4700 so we'll write two balance brought down 4700 then we are also going to open this bad debts recovered account bad debts recovered account and since it's a recovery it will appear on the credit side okay so by balance brought down 250 okay so we have factored this as well next one is debtors and this is basically the closing position so when we prepare the balance sheet it will have its effect so what i'll do i'll give a space for two slides then here we'll have the balance sheet balance sheet as on 31 12 21 asset side here we are going to have debtors how much it is 1 lakh 600 okay so most of the information we have captured next write off further 2400 definitely bad so this further 2400 we have to write off it can be absorbed in provision for bad and doubtful debts itself so 31 12 21 so this is basically additional bad debts okay how we are going to capture this is we'll recognize this first in bad debts account then we'll transfer it to provision for bad and doubtful debts so here we write bad debts account debit to sundry debtors account how much it's this 2400 so now listen here i have already written provision for bad and doubtful debts as two bad debts 4700 and here also i have already written so this got to be transferred to provision for bad and doubtful debts account 4700 and this sundry data should also be transferred right so 4700 plus 2400 that is we can have a single entry 7100 and here instead of uh, transferring it two times we can do it as a single entry 4700 plus 2400 7100 so that is transfer to provision for bad and doubtful debts and in provision for bad and doubtful debts here instead of having two entries that is two bad debts 4700 and two bad debts 2400 we can have a single entry so i'm just clearing this we'll just have it as 7100 okay now listen opening balance is 12000 bad debts adjusted is 7100 what should be the closing balance what is the information we have it should be at the rate of 10 percentage for that from balance sheet we have to deduct bad debts we have to deduct provision for bad and doubtful debts now so let's go to balance sheet here let's deduct bad debts when i say deduct bad debts only what is given in the adjustment because what is already written off is factored here so minus bad debts how much it's going to be this 2400 okay so how much you will get now it will be 98200 on this 10 percentage should be provision for bad and doubtful debts minus provision for bad and doubtful debts at the rate of 10 percent and it works out to 9820 okay so if you subtract that you will get 88380 so this is good data 
on this two percentage can be provision for discount on data so let's do that as well minus provision for discount on datas this information will help us and this is going to be at the rate of 2% so 88000 in 88380 into 2% works out to 1767.60 so the net position is going to be 86612.40 so this will be the net datas position in the balance sheet now this is our closing provision for bad and doubtful debts this is the closing provision for discount on debtors so let's go and capture that information so here we can say under provision for bad and doubtful debts two balance carry down is 9820 and under provision for discount on debtors we can say 31 12 21 two balance carry down it's going to be this 1767.60 okay now listen you have to total the higher side so in provision for bad and doubtful debts obviously this is the higher side and that works out to 16920 so here also 16920 so 16920 minus 12000 will give you 4920 so this is the portion which have to be debited in pnl for creating the additional charge in the name of provision for bad and doubtful debts so on 31 12 21 by pnl account so pnl account debit to provision for bad and doubtful debts it is this 4920 so this is basically a balancing figure so i am circling it similarly in provision for discount on debtors debit side is the highest so total this it works out to 11067.60 11067.60 minus 5600 you will get 54 67.60 5467.60 so this is the balancing figure so this is the additional provision which you have to create for discount on debtors by debiting the pnl 311221 by pnl account by pnl account it is 5467.60 okay so that is also taken care so we have completed all the ledgers we just have to close this so this will go to PNL to profit and loss account. It means this will appear on the credit side of the PNL. Okay, so this is also done. It's time for us to prepare the PNL account. So this will appear on the debit side. Okay, first is to provision for bad and doubtful debts account. Provision for bad and doubtful debts account. So what we can do? Yeah, this is the closing provision. With that, add this bad debts minus opening provision that will give you this figure okay in the same pattern we'll write the provision for bad and doubtful debts so what is required basically the closing provision what is required is 9820 with that let's add the bad debts the additional bad debts plus bad debts provided during the year so total is 7100 and from that let's deduct the existing provision what was the existing provision it was 12,000 so it works out to 4920 similarly to provision for discount on debtors so what is required required means closing position it is 1767.60 with that let's add what is allowed in the current year discount allowed and that works out to 9300 from that let's deduct existing provision what was the existing provision it was 5600 if you deduct this you will get that is 1767.60 plus 9300 minus 5600 it's going to be 5467.60 so all these are on the debit side on the credit side also you will have one item what is that by bad debts recovered by bad debts recovered and how much was that it was 250 250 okay so in this way we have completed the pnl part we have also completed the balance sheet 
and we have prepared bad debts account, bad debts recovered account, closed, balanced. We have prepared provision for discount on debtors, provision for bad and doubtful debts account. Okay. So the only unique thing what I did is instead of uh, capturing the bad debts in two parts, I have prepared the bad debts account, captured both the bad debts. As an omnibus, I have transferred everything to provision for bad and doubtful debts and closing balance we arrived as per the discuss method. So it's a comprehensive problem. I hope you got the clarity. We'll be having some more problems in this final accounts adjustment series. So keep focused and if you are preparing for JAB exams, please check the course. Link is available in the description. And if you are a beginner in accounting or if you are preparing for professional exams, CA, CMA, CS or BCom, BBA, MCom, MBA, if you want to have your uh, fundamentals strong, then we have a comprehensive course, Accounting Basics, a complete study. The link is given in the description. Explore, enroll. I'll see you inside the course.